Hey, it's Mimi again, and in my previous Sharpie paint pen video, I talked about problems with the oil-based extra fine point paint pen and showed you how to clear a clogged oil-based pen. In this video, I'm going to seal these practice surfaces that I wrote on with the oil-based and water-based paint pens, and then we're going to test those sealed surfaces against water and Windex and see how water fast they are and whether it's really necessary to use an oil-based pen to stand up to moisture or a little bit of wear and tear. What I'm working on is just a plain old rock and then a couple of these metal boxes that a wallet comes in. I'm going to seal it with this Mod Podge clear acrylic sealer. Well, and I'm just gonna give a super fine spray of this and then I'm gonna come back and do another spray. So let me start out by doing it's kind of, I should do this outside. Um, okay, so I'm just going to give it one of these. Wow, that is strong. Do it outside. <laughs> Let's, we're going to do this outside. Wait 10 minutes, it'll be completely dry. Then do the same thing again. And if you, if, you know, if it's going to be like out in the garden or something like that, I would do it a third time. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and it figures the minute I start filming this outside, it starts raining. <laughs> Good thing I brought my camera in during that 10 minutes. Spraying too close because I don't want to get a bunch of overspray. I'm going to do a third coat of this. I don't know if it's really necessary, but um, because I'm going to try to spray really lightly, I want to make sure that I get all of the surface. Then I'll wait another couple hours actually, and then we'll test the water fastness. So I think I will just give it another shake. I think it would spray better. I'm spraying downward, and probably if you hung this vertically, you're going to get a finer and more even spray if you're doing it upright. But I mean, I don't really care. This is just a test run, right? So I'm gonna give it a super fine spray. I'm gonna let that dry again. I think between three, three coats of this that I probably have gotten everything covered well enough for this little test run. Now I've let these items cure for over a day and I test spraying it with just water and both the water and oil base hold up very well. I give it the scratch test. I wipe it pretty vigorously with a rag and um, they hold up well. The only place that I see it kind of degrading at all is the water base breaks down a little bit where there's a lot of texture in the rock. And then on this back side, there's just one little spot right in the center of the concave, convex part of the rock where it comes off on the water-based part. Anyway, it wipes off really easily there, and when I went back and looked at the footage, I can see that I think I only sprayed it once, and then I flipped it over. I sprayed the blue side only once or twice, and one of the times I flip it over almost immediately, and so that little spot is probably the spot where it's sitting on the cardboard. And that's the only spot that it comes off on. So even when I spray it with Windex, both sides hold up. So I feel like this is a pretty decent test because how many mailboxes or rocks out in the garden are you really going to spray with Windex? Now I'm not testing for sun beating down on it or months and months of sprinklers spraying on it. You've just got to use your common sense on what's going to work where. And also you may want to test a stronger sealer maybe some kind of varnish, polyurethane, something like that. So if you have a recommendation, please put that down in the comments. Okay, so I also tested both of these flat surfaces, the painted metal boxes. And here, I'm just trying to show you why I lean towards the water-based paint pen so much. I just like the way they put down paint better. And so if I feel like the water base is going to hold up, I prefer to use that. It's easier to use and I just like the way the paint flows. So here it is. I'm wiping the water-based metal box with water and it holds up just fine. Now when I spray it with Windex, I feel like the fine point, the thicker point here shows a little bit of degradation or a little bit of it breaking down. It, depending on how many times you spray it, you're going to wipe away that clear coat and get down into the paint. 
I have used water-based paint on this iPad cover. It's just an inexpensive, maybe $10 or $15 iPad cover made by Spec. And I did this in 2013, and I carry it around with me. Every time I take my iPad in my bag with me, I put it in this, and I've been carrying it around for two years, and it has held up just great. I used water-based Sharpies and acrylic paint on that, and it has held up for two years. The only place that it's wearing off noticeably is right on the spine there where it gets a lot of opening and closing and probably rubs against the bottom of my case. So there's another example of another project that you could use these Sharpie paint pens on and I did those with water-based. Finally, just a few other quick examples of how these hold up. Here, after I've done all the, the water and the Windex, I can scratch off the water based a little bit with a fingernail and the oil base did not come off. And then here I'm using these little alcohol swabs and I was really surprised to discover that none of this came off even with the alcohol swabs, which surprised me because when I used the alcohol on unsealed oil base, it completely just ate right through it. That was what led to my discovery that rubbing alcohol would fix the clogged extra fine tip. All right, so that'll do it. And I hope you found this helpful. If you have any interest in watching my uh, putting down this lettering onto these surfaces, kind of the prelude to this, then let me know in the comments and I'll put that in a video. I just felt like it went on too long and that it might not be of any interest to anyone. So I have several other videos about Sharpie paint pens and I will put those here in case you want to look at those. Um, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Hey Mimi DIY channel.